Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites and this month has gone so darn fast, it's not even funny. So I am definitely excited for October because it is my birthday month and unfortunately it's the very, very end, Halloween. So I do have to wait a couple more weeks, but these are my last couple of weeks. I've been 23, I'm turning 24 this month. What is that number? It is so random, but hopefully some good things are coming my way this month, which is going to be very exciting. I'm working on a lot of exciting projects as well. So I have only a very small handful of cosmetics to share with you guys today that I've been loving and been using almost every day. Um, some of these honestly shouldn't be a surprise to you guys because I've been posting about them quite a lot on my social medias um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been loving these same products as well. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So we all know that Fenty Beauty was released in Sephora um, a couple of weeks ago and it has been an absolute hit at work. And honestly, you guys, I am completely obsessed with the whole entire range. I think she's done a fantastic job for her first release. Honestly, if she can release 40 foundations, in her first release. I don't know what any other brand is doing, but they need to pick up their game. So I, of course, have been loving her foundation. This particular one is in the shade 240, which is definitely more of my fake tan shade. Um, when I am a bit paler, I will swap and change between 210 and two, sorry, yeah, 210 and 220. Um, but right now, this is the one and only bottle that I have. I am gonna purchase a couple of other colors because I love it so, so much. Now, if you guys haven't heard um, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't really heard what it's all about, this is a really lightweight, medium to full coverage foundation. It is a super matte finish as well, so if you are someone who has combination to oily skin like myself, you will love it, but if you do have a drier skin, you can still wear it, you just have to take a little extra precaution on how you prep your skin. So if you do have drier skin or even normal skin, I would just prep your base with a really good hydrating moisturizer and also a really hydrating hydrating primer. Um, if, if you do have more of a combination to oily skin myself, um, like myself, um, you can prep it with pretty much anything. I personally like to prep it with a good hydrating primer as well as something like Benefit Professional to where I am prone to getting oily. Um, honestly, guys, this I don't have to touch up throughout the day, which is awesome. Um, yeah, honestly, if anyone has combination to oily skin or any kind of oily skin and you don't have to touch up throughout the day, this is like a godsend. So I've really been enjoying this. I think she's done a really fantastic job and I've also done a blog post as well on this and another product that I'm going to mention um, which I will leave in the description box down below. So sticking with Fenty Beauty, this is a highlighter that I've been using every day, like every day, without a doubt I will use this. It is just so beautiful and if you guys haven't seen her Kilowatt highlighters, you definitely need to check these out. These are definitely a highlight from the collection, pun intended. So this is what they look like. I love the packaging. I think it's really beautiful. It's kind of like a off kind of white. It's got like a pearly kind of reflux to it. It's beautiful. This particular one is in the color Mean Money Hustler Baby. And I love this. This is definitely a full on dupe for um, Champagne Pop by Becca. I am just in love with this. I think the color is absolutely stunning. So in this compact, you do have a more intense highlight, which is this side. And then you've got a slightly more subtle highlight of this side. So sometimes I will mix the two, but this one by itself is more than enough. I have it on my cheeks today, if you can see that glow. Totally obsessed, super creamy, really buttery. Pigmentation is intense. I love it so, so much. And I am definitely gonna be picking up a couple more of her highlighters. I know that Trophy Wife is definitely a standout for a lot of people. It is the most intense gold, kind of really fine shimmer um, I have ever seen on the market. And I think she's absolutely killing it. And I really have been enjoying the whole entire range. So if you guys have tried Fenty Beauty, please let me know what your favorite products are in the comments down below because it is a chub a, a, a chub check. It is a subject that I will love talking about with you guys. So we'll stick on the new product bandwagon. So I recently picked up the new Huda Beauty palette. Now I didn't actually get to check out her original palette. I never purchased it, but I'm kind of wishing that I did now. Um, but nevertheless, I ended up picking up the new one because it is so stunning. I've been using it every single day. Um, I've used it in my on my eyes today. It's the only thing that I honestly wear nowadays. It is just absolutely stunning. So if you guys have 
haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. It is deliciously beautiful. I am obsessed. So definitely there is a lot of colors that I gravitate towards in this particular pattern was one of the reasons why I purchased it. This particular color purple in twilight is seriously stunning. It is like a duochrome kind of like metallic uh, purple color. It is beautiful. I also love Eden. I use Eden every day. Um, it is the perfect kind of corally kind of color, but nothing too crazy. Um, and then I also love lacing, which is what I've used on my eyes today. This one is a new recent favorite. It's called Celestial. I think that's how you pronounce it. It, it. it just, it looks like a gold in the pan, but then when you twist it, it has a reflux of pink. I've used that on the center of my eyes today. Um, honestly, I don't think this palette could get any better. I'm obsessed. Please let me know as well if you have tried this palette and let me know what your thoughts are. Again, I have done a full blog post and review on this. Um, I will leave those blog posts down below if you guys are interested in reading my thoughts and also seeing close-up photos of them. And the last makeup favorite that I have to share with you guys is an oldie but a goodie and I use it every day. And this is the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil. I used to be obsessed with the Precisely My Brow and then one day I actually ran out of the Precisely and I had a couple of these um, just like waiting to be used and I wasn't super keen on the tip when I first received these and I didn't really like it to start off with if I'm being completely honest but um, now honestly I actually prefer this over the Precisely and I think it's because it does have that teardrop tip so it makes it super easy to fill in your brows, makes it a lot faster and I just think I get them done in half the time than what I did with Precisely. I still love Precisely my brow but I just love this a little bit more. Um, I just think it's super easy and if you're someone who's either beginning in brows or you are totally advanced in brows and you just want to try a new product I would totally recommend Goof Proof. It is awesome. Um, I just love the fact that it has a fatter tip and you can get your brows done in half the time um, but I am just absolutely obsessed. I wear it every single day. I get comments about them all the time and honestly this is definitely my ride or die. So that's all of my makeup favorites that I have to share with you guys. Now this month I do have a few song favorites, which honestly in the last couple, uh, the last couple of months I know that I haven't mentioned any song favorites because I am so obsessed with podcasts and I still am. The Generation Y is definitely still my favorite. I have been listening to it nonstop. Um, I've honestly almost listened to at least half, if not more than all of their episodes, and there's like 200 of them. So I am definitely still in love with them, but. But I have also been listening to a couple of new songs and I also have a TV show favorite as well. So I will start off with the songs because there is four. So first one is Rockstar by Post Malone. Um, it is a newer song but I find it really catchy to listen to. Um, also Too Good at Goodbyes by Sam Smith is definitely a favorite. It's just a song that I find really easy to sing to in the car and Sam Smith has literally the best voice in the world. Honestly, he is so talented and I love listening to his music. Um, also Redbone by Childish Gambino, which honestly, best soundtrack to listen to. I just find it so, so catchy. I literally have it on repeat like every single day, like every day. And the last song is literally one of the oldest songs ever, and it is Hypnotize by Notorious B.I.G. And honestly, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it right now. I just cannot get enough of it. It is just so catchy and it's funny because it was a song that I really wasn't into until Josh started playing it and as soon as he did I was like this is like really catchy and then I added it to my Spotify list and I just have been listening to it non-stop. And the TV show favorite that I have been obsessed with is The Sinner. I don't know if you guys have heard about it and I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it is a new TV show that is um, featuring Jessica Biel. I believe she's actually one of the executive producers in this show. Um, it is intense. It is terrifying, amazing. It is like on the edge of your seat, really just you want to know what's going to happen next and it is incredible. And I won't say too much without giving it away, but basically in the trailer you see that she stabs someone someone just like randomly and basically the show is about trying to figure out like why she did it and you know like if she had a motive and it was just so like 
Like, I just wanted to know what was going to happen, like, in the next episode. There's only eight episodes in the season, but I swear to you guys, if you guys like any kind of, like, psychological, like, thrillers or, you know, anything like that, you will love this show. It is fantastic. She did an amazing job, and I would recommend it to anyone who likes a good thriller. But that, guys, is everything in this month's favorites. I will link everything that I mentioned down below. Um, everything that you see in this video, you can shop on my blog. Um, so I will leave a link to my blog down below so you can read any kind of blog post that you are curious about. But you can shop everything that I mentioned also on there as well. To make it super easy for you guys, it'll be a direct link. Um, there is no like affiliate links whatsoever when it comes to these products. So you are generally just shopping on my website. But please let me know again what your favorite Fenty products are and just let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.